Hi and welcome to another water tutorial. In this one we are going to show you how to send push notifications to your audience. Get your account ready and let's begin. Log in to your Wattel account or sign up for free if you don't have one. Then you have to configure your Facebook and WhatsApp channels. If you have any doubt, we have linked a tutorial in the description. It's important to make sure that your WhatsApp business platform number is live and you have a verified Facebook Messenger business account. Then we go to the push tab and click on new audience. Then you have to give it a name and a description if you want to. The description step is optional. Select the channel from which you are going to send the messages. You can pick to send the push notification to a few members or a group of members. The few members option is ideal for a small sized push while the group of members is the preferred option for a larger audience. If you click on the top corner to estimate size, the platform will number the size of your audience. And lastly, you just have to click on save and the audience has been created. Then we go to new push and you have to give it a name and a description if you want to. Select the audiences you want to send the push to you can pick more than one. In addition to the unsubscribed audience, you can choose others that specifically exclude other members. Then pick the day and time to send the notification. If you have different push notifications to send at the same time, you can order them depending on the priority. Remember that one is the highest priority. If you are sending a message on Facebook, you have to pick the message tag that best suits your purpose. Using tags outside the approved ones may result in restrictions on sending messages. If you decide or already have tags for your audience, you can apply them in this step. Finally, you have to pick the message you want to send. You can send text, audio and image just by writing in the content field. In the case of WhatsApp, we recommend you always use a WhatsApp template to start a conversation. This is because your audience usually will receive the notification outside the 24 hours window for a live chat. If you want to use buttons or WhatsApp templates, click on the arrow and add the platform. It must match the channel you selected previously. Go to the standard level and pick the format you want to use and then select the message. Once everything is configured, you just have to click on save and send and the push message will launch at the selected time and date. When the push is completed, you will have access to the results, which gives you the option of analyzing and optimizing your strategies. Thank you for joining us in our tutorial. We hope you learned all about push notifications and we hope to see you in the next one.